All right, Let's take a look at some of the new features in PBX and SIP version 4. Uh, number one, we can log in as a user, and there's a new login type called console. We can log in there, and we get to see the new web-based uh, web uh, attendant console. And looks like my screen is not adjusted quite right here, so let's just adjust that to the right. But we see a web-based attendant console for a receptionist that's managing the phones. On the left here, we have the receptionist's phone. She can do some control there of her phone. And also all the others, uh, there's no phones registered, but they would be lit up if they were. Um, we can also here get see our own voicemail, uh, click to listen to voicemails, and we can delete them from here. Also, we would see our missed calls from here. Call queue monitoring here, and if we slide this to the right a bit, if we could also see our conference calls and who is all in a conference call. All right, not to belabor that too much, we'll back out here and log in as administrator. this screen a little bit here so you can't see that I'm using a map Mac <laughs> okay first of all if you're used to version 3.4 you'll see the fresh new user interface um, just a little bit more pleasing the tabs look a little more pleasing graphically um, also if we click on settings we will notice little help menu uh, buttons here that we can click on to get help about these settings a very advanced PBX so there's a lot of settings but everywhere you see a little help button you can click on it to get context sensitive help. Um, another feature in version 4 is and let's go to access is the ability for the system to automatically back blacklist IP addresses that appear to be trying to attack the system. Uh, you can of course uh, uh, you can type in an IP address that you don't want to be able to access the system or uh, IP addresses or ranges that you want to be allowed to. So you have very tight control. Uh, PBX and SIP is extremely secure and has a lot of security features, this being one of the latest ones. Also, much finer user portal security control. Uh, you can see, can the end user change their SIP password, web password, can they change calls, presence, fields that are watched, and many, many things. This is in the user portal. Why don't we log out here? And we'll log in as a into the user portal so we can see what we're configuring here. User login, and you can see everyone logs in from the same place. Here's the user portal. If we click on settings, we can see the different, uh, some of these passwords would not be, you can turn them off so that a user can't fiddle with passwords and uh, tangle things up. But this is the user portal. You can see all their voicemails. They can listen to them and delete them from here. Um, and many other settings. One of the new features in version four you can see all the dial codes, star codes, so they can remind themselves or print themselves a list. But we'll log out of there. But finer user portal security. Uh, you can let's log in once again as administrator. Um, you can send CDRs via email. Uh, you can configure what events trigger. Um, emails to the administrator and you can even edit the, uh, the content of the emails that get sent in very detail. Another thing quite nice that I have wanted in many in uh, as I looked at different PBXs and rarely see very nice graphs of the system as it works. Here we have the media CPU usage. 
we have calls that are in progress right now. So you can see your maximum number of calls. We can see the endpoints that are registered. And here we have the, um, the quality of the call in live real time. So nice chart or graphs there. Also, we have a status screen here, which shows a lot of things that are happening. Um, how many emails were sent, the calls that were completed, uh, just about everything that you could want there. Also, all right, just a couple more things here. Um, there is um, now we're logged, uh, we'll go into a certain tenant. This is multi-tenant enabled. So we'll go into domains and we'll click in with one. Now we're in the settings about this uh, phone system in the, in the tenants. The, the dial plans we now we can require a pin code for each dial plan or a client matter and pin code or pin code I should say for each dial plan that's a new feature um, more granular extension permissions click into here and select an extension uh, there's more things you can define about extension permissions, um, present server, and more. Quite a few other things. That's just a couple of things that are new that I thought I'd go over. And this is by no means a comprehensive uh, overview of PBX, except just some of the new things that are out now.